And fall in my fellow scout troopers to a Napoleon Total War 3 4v4 battle replay today at Austria 5 map. Today's replay was sent to me by Anzac. His, his teammates today are Heffend, Holfen Stuffen 94, and Alf. Their opponents today are Drusko, Lasayas, Kiki, and SM. Factions today are Polska, which has gone all cap here today. I don't often see this, but uh, it's fairly interesting. Hopefully Polska is up to the micro challenge and it will be a big challenge. Over here we have Legia Nadlewislanska. We have over here France 1807 Espana. And France 1805 to 1808, one of the best factions in the game itself. Their opponents today we have Helder Expedition 1799. United Kingdom 1812 US of A. And we have Russia 1812 Leb Gavadia. And our last player. Is that right? No, no. This is still US, England, USA. Where are you? Okay, here we go. Nine Kingdom Peninsula. Points today. Uh, three one pointers and two four pointers for eleven points. So the battle will definitely be fought in the middle. That's the biggest concentration of points, including a four pointer down the south, which isn't too far away from the clump of one pointers in the middle. How interesting. Now this is also pretty funny. Although this is like a blue dyed, uh, I suppose, what do you call this, uh, trough, it's actually water. If you see a bullet or a cannonball hit this area, you'll see water spray up. We actually have a boat in mid-air. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a bug with the map. Still, it is what it is. The battle, ba battle map is mostly open plain. Got to be careful with the trees though. Polska can only fight here. And there's only really a small narrow corridor he can come at the enemy in this direction. We've also got rockets coming over. I don't often see rockets. It's been a long time actually. Alright, they're firing over towards a four-pointer area. Potentially trying to take out the blue team's four-pointer. And if they manage to do that, then... Blue team must come south to win. I mean, they already got to come south already to get those one of those two pointers at least for a lock victory. And I don't know. What's our, what's position here? We got here France 1807 Spider coming down here. This is perfect. This is a perfect battlefield here for Polska. Plenty of open plain. Could get some nice downhill charges as well. Which is why it's probably in the red team's interest to force the battle here. They can basically keep Polska in front of him. The trees act as a natural defense either flank. If the red team forces the battle here on their terms, then I think they're guaranteed victory. Even if Polska tries to come around from the, from the rear, it's still not going to work out for him. Now you've got Held Expedition moving his army up here. Potentially he's going to try and force the battle here. This has got to be the red team's plan. To fight anywhere else puts them at a disadvantage, especially with the well, number of cavalry that Polska has on the field. Helder seems to be charging towards Polska. Yep, he's actually going to engage. We have the Krakusi versus the 18th, 18th Hussars. Yeah, careful. You don't want to run your cab too much. Uh, both horses are equally fast. It does look like some of the cab here is gaining on it. Okay, now they get out of the chase. Cav is winded. And now Helder has some infantry nearby as well, and they can form square too. Yeah, this is, this is a great map for cavalry warfare, if they can force the battle here. Still, if I was on the red team, I would, I would want to move all my army here towards the middle.
You leave a couple of units there to guard your four pointer to the south. I mean, it'll, it'll still take France at least about 10 15 minutes to even move his army down there towards the red team's four pointer. So, you know, they've got time. You know, this, they, they can also set up their artillery right up here. Yes, sir. It's a great vantage point. Can definitely hammer the red team to bring up as they bring up their army and their cat and their cab force. By army I mean infantry force. I mean this is this is all the red team. Yeah, the red team strategy should just be this. Get all their artillery, put them on the hill, array it around, gets plenty of cab to protect it, of course. And then send the rest of the army down here to try and take on and wipe out France, 1805, 1808, Legia as well. They can easily repel any potential cap from Polska. And they can just blow the absolute crap out of France, España as he comes towards them. And take out a lot of Polska's cab as well. They can just wear the blue team down this way. That would be my battle plan looking at this right now. Now, if you guys want to see your own replay also featured here on this channel, you can send it to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can also post it to me directly on Discord via private message. You can also post it to my Discord server, the Scouts Reconnaissance. Or you can just post it on the NTW3 Discord, and tagging me in there also helps me find it. Now, the, you know, the fireworks look good, but um, it's mostly theatrical. They don't get too many kills. Our men are running, sir. And I've seen in the past. I mean, when it does hit, they can get a lot of kills, but yeah, yeah you're really just throwing the dice and hoping to win the lotto at the same time. But you can think you're going to get a lot of kills here with rockets. France does not seem in a hurry to move forward. These one pointers make it difficult for either side to both defend and repel an attack. The houses would definitely affect the player's ability to use artillery. I don't know. Alright guys, we're back because we've got a potential strike or an assassination attempt here on the Gears General. He's walking, but he's not running. And there's no one coming to actually save him. None of his allies seem to be telling him he's in danger he's in either. We've got Shoei, got Gunnakav. Our men are running. Oh no! Nope, the general didn't die. The gear must be in a different unit. Isn't that clever? Alright peoples, France and Legia has arrived and they're gonna try and fight it out for the one pointers. Legia is actually taking the lead here. Oh, France is also with it, I don't know. Both both Legia got a little bit distracted there. Seem to be a good line of sight here on the musketeery. They're getting in close, aren't they? I swear I'm hearing artillery. France is still holding his ground, he's not moving in. They can enter the house from this side. 
We've got Grenadiers guarding it, though. France is sending their own Grenadiers if they haven't want to have any chance of success in taking it. But they need to take it. If they can take it, it'll be a stepping stone to getting the whole army across this river. Close you want to get. Either you're going in or you're not. Both sides are trying to line up their troops. We've got some soldiers here with a boat above their heads. The angle isn't great for either side. Except for maybe the Russians here. They appear to have the best vantage point. This is where the action is right now. According to the map, there's no other engagements going on. I'm hearing a lot of shouting. Okay, oh, France man, did send one unit. Okay, they sent up their own grenadiers. They try to take on Helder expeditions. Two grenadier units. And okay, numbering their own force two to one. I don't understand. Oh, why aren't they setting up their own unit in the in support? So they're gonna be firing. Okay, they broke. They ran away. They broke. You should get the men back, but um, yeah, that was a rude awakening there for France. I expected them to fare a bit better against the Helder expedition. can you really do now, I wonder. The gears line here seems to be a little bit shaky. Looks like we're seeing a withdrawal. France's next strategy here could be to try to wear down the enemy and win in a long-term shootout. What we got here? We've got a set of eight pounders. Our men are running for. They could be trying to hammer. Oh no, they're not even delumbered yet. Best point for them to deploy is probably here. I mean, they got a great line of sight there to the house. Potentially, just blow it up. Think about the lumbering soon, especially with the rockets coming at you. No, oh, twenty there, thirty here, ten there. We got some light dragoons here charging into a French infantry unit. Oh no, looks like they just broke. Mounted guides coming up. Okay, they're down by two there. He is holding himself back for now.
France is thinking about making a move here on the four pointer. Since I've got some cav, a lot of possible cav coming around here. Look like ants, don't they? On a massive plane. France has four infantry units moving over here as well, escorted by the cavalry. Not that they need it, each one here can form a square. See, this is all Peninsula's army. Did they just get blown away by their own arty? I'm gonna say yes to that. Bugger. Well, I've done that to my own forces, so, you know, I'm the one to talk. France and Pulse are just sort of continuing to surround him. Looking for a weak spot. Just a lot of hammer and anvil charges on it and break through. Ten there, twenty there, none there. And France is taking light casualties themselves. But I'm not seeing anything right now that would give any team a decisive advantage over the other. These guys here, they're taking a beating though. guys here could break any second. Don't need to get the general nearby. Inspire them, get him in the fight maybe. The artillery must be targeting this position. This unit here needs to crest that hill in order to fire down. All their ammunition, they're just shooting into the dirt. Both sides. I'll do a battle going on over here, I wonder. Russia here is surging for two units. Seems to be a little reckless. But France is even trying to surround him. Is it a trap or something? It's a tempting target. Postal General's been eyed here by the Held Expedition. They've got their lightning fast cab at the ready to pounce. Here he goes. Postal's not reacting to it. He's not going to stop it either. He only lost one horse there in that charge. A lot of false starts. But we might finally be underway. I mean, these guys here, they're getting hammered. And England, as you know, has a disadvantage of five yards. Compared to the French. They can shoot 65, I believe. As opposed to France's 70. Ok, 
Okay, some chasseurs want to go in. They can take. They can charge the Brunswick. Are they going to charge the Brunswick? I don't. They're not. They're going to charge into the whole line, even if they can form square. England here really clumping up their forces. There's Polska. Right now we've got the rockets here firing on the Polska cavalry trying to break it. Careful, France. He's getting in too close. He's going for a bayonet charge. Got a cab moving in to back him up. With the Crassiers, elite cavalry. Oscar isn't following him in. I'm not sure why France did that. They seem to be winning the gun battle. the rockets so close now, things are looking positive there for Espana for a little while then he went for that charge with the four units and then tried to use his grenadiers or sorry his crassiers to follow them in and try and help the break through but they were repelled and they were repelled badly he's lost a lot I don't think he has enough to mount another assault like that. Where are they going over here? You got the United Kingdom USA here outflanking the French, leaving themselves exposed to this unit here, but don't know if the, fr if the French player realizes he has it. I mean, they're not moving anything, they're not shooting at all. Potentially this unit broke and the player just doesn't realise he got it back. Now if you look at the map here, the red team is completely surrounded. But there's plenty of space for them to hold their reserves. There's plenty of spaces for them to put their units behind buildings to protect them from infantry fire, from artillery fire. Cavalry is almost... Uh, Impossible to use. The red team's perimeter looks pretty tight. Well, maybe not. The gear did move his army across the river, but he's swinging around and trying to come out behind the Helder expedition on the hill. Bit close to Helder. No glory there. Being fired upon. Polska is really struggling to find an opening here to use his cavalry. The 
got a small battle going on over here. They turn around and fight the English or not? You reckon? No, too close to infantry. Okay, Francis so sent him some support over here. All right, so they've changed this, they've changed their approach completely. They moved on. They moved from a frontal assault towards the house to try to outflank the house from their left. In doing so, it's opened up to the enemy's artillery on top of the hill here. We've seen some cannon shots come down that hill already. But this new strategy appears to be working better for them. They're really just trying to sort of chip away at isolated units, take them out one by one. In the hope that eventually they'll just wear their enemy down, where they can just steamroll over them. Not an easy strategy to pull off. Looks like France is thinking about taking the enemy on again. He probably shouldn't. He probably just needs to leave five or six units behind here, send the other four this way, try to actually outflank the Russians from behind and hail their expedition. And then when they're being shot at from two different sides, send the calf straight down the left flank and try and take him out. Begin pushing Helder and Russia completely off this hill. Then they have that four point to surrender from all sides, pretty much. Could make it easier for them to take him out. Four and two. Russia's on the hill, could be in range. Friendly troops in their way though. And we got here potential strike on the enemy artillery. There's not much stopping them. Okay, Russians coming in to intercept them now. Well, the Russians some lost some of their own men there. Their own artillery. The gear looks like he had him. It's just like the cavalry sort of gave up on the chase on him. I'm not saying the gear did it on purpose. Okay, they just lost their group of six pounders. Four six pounder cannons here, all gone. The mighty French grenadiers here. Uh, unfortunately, got repelled. Here in France, though, you're getting in really close. You almost have the Russians by the belt buckle. Ah, 
Ah, uh, here comes Polska. He's over here. He's behind enemy lines. Yankin is chasing him down. France is moving into saving with their grenadiers. And he's going to succeed. England's managed to break the Polska unit. Our men are running, sir. Must be in range of the English they're firing on. Huh? What's going on over here? France charging in with some hussars. They're taking out the English artillery. So, you know, unit by unit, they're taking out the artillery. Our men are running, sir. England set up a unit of dragoons here on a suicide charge. They were heavy cav, but they were completely outnumbered. Russians here have their Krasiers. Or the Kraskirsky. This, this, really, this change of strategy seems to really paid off for the blue team. They won't have any success there on their frontal assault, but since they shifted and put most of their army on the other side of the lake, and now are attempting to take on Russia, United Kingdom Peninsula, United Kingdom USA, they're definitely having a lot more success in taking out enemy units. comes back to what I was saying earlier, where the red team, if they force the battle over there, they stand a much better chance of taking out the blue team's units. If they force the battle over here, that really just works in the Polska's favor. As you can see, he's running in and out of enemy lines here, slowly chipping away at and attacking isolated units. Gonna try and take out these skirmishes next. Our men are running. Or not. Infantry's doing a, doing a good job mopping people up here. We had Essen there, just lose his general. Okay, so Russia just lost their general. Casualties there for France. Pulse is just running in and out here. He might have been trying to target the United Kingdom's general. This is going to be shot at. Come on, mate, pull out. These guys are in range. Okay, Russia sent up their elites. France setting up their grenadiers. 
Good opportunity here for the French to send in their infantry on a bayonet charge to support their cavalry. This building has fallen to the enemy. Oh, this could help things along. Come on, you push it, you going. We have Russians charging in. We do. Oscar's moving up more of their cav. The Russians here are down to 48, so they're losing a lot. France is a uh, long term shootout here. Appears to be working for him. At least on his left flank, anyway. Looks to be wearing down England pretty well. The way this battle's progressing, and if Legia can actually get up the hill here with France, then I think United Kingdom Peninsula is gone. These guys here, they form pike. Looks like it doesn't. Now the gear is being isolated and destroyed. I'm not too sure why the gear is trying to take on England. He's seriously unnumbered. Yes, sir. Morale's very shaky, though. Pauls is running behind the enemy lines again. His forces are broken, but it did distract the enemy long enough for Legia to move up his forces. Jeez, he's going in for a bayonet charge. Well, he charged him right in the back. I guess it was a good idea after all. Polska was thinking they got the general. He's within reach. Polska is just trying to navigate their way through the squares. Well, they forced him out in the open. Two potential generals here up for grabs. Larry's going in. Oh, 
Too soon. You had him. Potentially his general is in that unit. So I guess I understand why he didn't want to lose it. He isn't going to take that place, not by himself, not with that unit, alone. France and Spain, you're moving up again. As he should, he's got all the confidence in the world behind him right now. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must trade. Oh, who is that? I oh, so don't know. It was Kiki's general. I wonder if they shot the hell of the general. It's, po it's possible he's inside the building. He's trying to get some clean, close shots off. at a brisk pace. Polska has most of their cav, it looks like, still intact. And hell that it's not one of this building go anytime soon. This is why they need to kill the general inside it. They do that, the building is theirs. We've got four down there. France has had enough shooting. They feel like they got held on the ropes. And they seem to charge in to send him packing. Hundred and third foot. France is going to have this one, just slightly. We still got to deal with those two units in the house somehow. It's 
Squares has been shot to the death that, to the point that they just decide to break and run away. Two more units I can tell still alive over here. Very few French infantry are that light. Most of them are pretty medium to heavy. Blue team have captured the, one of the last houses. The gear has the last place surrounded. So changing their approach there had catastrophic consequences for the red team. They were not ready to repel them from that direction. And Polska for his part used his cav well. Although he might have gotten the most kills with his cav, he was running them in and out of enemy lines, forcing them to four square at times when both Legia and France were putting a lot of pressure on their lines with their own infantry. So Polska was causing a lot of chaos in the ranks and it really helped his teammates assume control of the battlefield and pick apart certain units are left behind in square or forced to stay in square and all these green ideas are trying to knock down as many troops as they can as they come these green ideas are doing a phenomenal job France is moving to try and take the other house now. Polsky is running around their cab because they can't get to their enemy. France is entering the second house now. Look at all building. the soldiers there taking the elevator. But victory definitely goes to Anzac and his forces there. Hefans, 1535. Holman Stuffin, 94. 1612. Anzac, 1085. Alpha, 552. Drusko, 999. Lasias, 537. Kiki, 899. And SM, 889. Okay, kill counts there. Well, we have the gear. Now the Waskar Chobik. 428. Not bad there for the infantry. Very fast too. The higher the number there, the faster they are, apparently. Now, there are other infantry ranges from 231 
and all the way down to zero here belong to the general but only two units there doing exceptionally well the rest of them seem to really struggle so but still great victory there for anzac and his team well done to the blue team there for turning that battle around it did seem to be really going it did seem to be really struggling there for a little while when they had that frontal assault as we talked about but once they shifted their focus and actually forced the battle into the open plane where Polska could really use his cab more effectively, they really started to turn that battle around there. So that was a good decision there from that team. If you want to see Honor Impact Fiends on the channel once again guys, you can send it to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can post it to me directly on Discord via direct message. You can post it on my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance. Or you can simply post a replay on the NW3 Discord and tagging me in it always helps. This is Mika from Scouts Entertainment signing off. Goodbye my fellow Scout Troopers. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.